poor Scottish farmer by the name of Fleming was trying to make a living for his family when he heard a cry for help coming from a nearby bog. He dropped his tools and ran to the bog where he found a terrified boy buried to his waist in the muck, screaming and struggling to free himself. Farmer Fleming saved the lad from what could have been a slow and terrifying death. The next day, a fancy carriage pulled up to the Scotsman's humble home, and an elegantly dressed nobleman stepped out and introduced himself as the father of the boy Farmer Fleming had saved. I want to repay you, said the nobleman. You saved my son's life. No, I can't accept payment for what I did, the Scottish farmer replied, waving off the offer. At that moment, the farmer's own son came to the door of the family house. Is that your son? the nobleman asked. Yes, the farmer replied proudly. I'll make you a deal. Let me take him and give him a good education. If the lad is anything like his father, he'll grow to a man you can be proud of. In time, he went on to become known throughout the world as the noted Sir Alexander Fleming, the discoverer of penicillin. Years afterward, the nobleman's son was stricken with pneumonia. What saved him? Penicillin. The name of the nobleman, Lord Randolph Churchill. His son's name, Sir Winston Churchill.